Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we got a bunch of topics. We got some new, exciting news coming out of Chelsea Football Club. And let's get straight into it. We've got an article titled Chelsea Imagine Diassi and Colwell. Now there is talks that Chelsea are interested in another centre back. And obviously, because Kulabai is going, there's talks of Trevor Chalaba going. Thiago Silva is 39 in September, and Barry Shield has picked up an injury um, that's had him sort of ruled out for a while. So this article goes on to mention that a player that Chelsea are interested in is Axel Diassi. These reports are, reports are coming out from France. He's an ace Monaco player and he's being courted by several clubs in the Premier League with Man United and Chelsea interested at the moment. Valued at about 34 million by the club that he's currently at. So let's take a look at him. What kind of player is he? Well, he's a France international. 25 years old, I think that works out to about 6 foot 2, 6 foot 3, so he's decently tall, right footed, that's a key point, so he play on the right side of the defence, um, obviously as a defender his strength being aerial duels, which you'd hope being 6 2 slash 6 3, that sort of area, you can see on his heat map here definitely plays a lot more on the right, but does progress up the pitch a good bit. Um, so as you know, getting involved in play a good, a good amount, he has got 38 total matches played this season with 3 goals and three assists which is actually pretty good numbers for a centre back in all honesty um, yeah and then the, the other numbers that I wanted to mention are down here aerial duels are one you can see 70% so very dominant in the air and as a solid player only got three yellow cards last season as well so overall looks like a solid player was bought from uh, by Monaco for 13 million euros and he's only going to cost us about 34 if we go ahead and take him um, his season overview over the last 12 months he got 6.89 average rating and you can see some solid months here a little bit of dip in form but sort of returned to it and then was pretty average uh, towards the end there but overall some interesting stats so he looks like a player that if Chelsea were to honestly go and get him for 34 million pounds I wouldn't be opposed uh, to it because like I mentioned Koulibaly is going if Trevor Chalaba goes then I think it would be necessary because Thiago Silva and Wesley Fofana Sure, they're brilliant players when we get to play them, but Thiago Silva's aging, and Wesley Fofana is showing signs that he, you know, can pick up injuries here and there. With Badia Shield picking up injuries, and you know, we've got Levi Cobble, obviously. It just leaves us a little bit light at the back, so I think this could be an interesting one to keep an eye on. Axel Diassi is someone I would definitely be happy to see playing at Chelsea. Um, I'm going to go away and do a little bit of research, watch some videos on him. So we'll see how this one develops, um, whether anything happens or not, maybe he'll end up at Man United, who knows, but it's definitely one to keep your eye on. Then today we've had reports coming out saying that Manchester United closer to 60 million transfer compromise and the reports are that it is basically done. This one is coming through the mirror, this one through court offside, um, but it does say basically that it looks like Chelsea have lowered their asking price for Mount given that last night he announced to the club through his agent and obviously himself that he will not be signing a new deal. If he stays for another year, you know, if we have a good year, he has a good year. He is saying he is not signing a new deal. So it's, it's you know, it's like it says here, it puts pressure on us to lower our demands. We know that there's no chance he will stay. And that is obviously heartbreaking for any Chelsea fan that, you know, logically loves the academy players that come through the club. You want them to do well. You want them to be a core integral part of the team if they're good enough and in my opinion Mount certainly is capable of being that, that guy but has shown in my honest opinion a little bit of a lack of class in this scenario I know that there's something that's gone on behind the scenes with the owners that's the reason that this is all happening but you know the fans have a great relationship with him most of them of course there is a section of the fan base that ridicules him abuses him and that's probably played its part as well but I think it's just, it's an ugly situation. In this situation, I, when he comes back to the bridge, I don't know what the reception will be like. Will it be positive? Will it be, you know, thank you for everything you've done. You're now at United, so we can't really, like, cheer you on, obviously. Or will it be quite hostile, you know, booze and such. I think there'll be some, but I think there's also a possibility that, you know, a lot of people will understand the situation. I don't know. We'll have to see. But it, it, this could get ugly, so I think it's probably best at this point that we accept 
60 million, I personally would have said we should still hold out for our 70 million. We know Man United have the money and we can risk him going on a free next year or sell him in January or something. Um, but yeah, it looks like he's going 60 million. It's a good fee to get for a homegrown player. You know, we're going to make a lot of money on him and it'll put our incomings this transfer window to nearly 200 million pounds once all of these, you know, sort of get checked off and are officially done. So this is going to set us up very well to go and pick out the players we want and need in this squad, such as a Caicedo and maybe a Lavia, whoever it's going to be to strengthen that midfield because that's probably the area that needs the most work at the moment. And here we have nudes coming through Italy uh, saying that a sensational move is on the cards as AC Milan are considering a move for Chelsea striker Lukaku who could be available for around 40 million euros. So obviously Chelsea taking a big hit there, I think that works out to about 34 million pounds maybe. And Chelsea are willing to let him go to note AC Milan, not Inter Milan. So whether he would even agree to this, because obviously he professes so much love for Inter Milan, the thought of him betraying them and going to AC Milan would be surprising. Um, but if it's you know the only way a move can happen, then maybe he would agree to it. He, he does say how much he loves Italy, so maybe that would uh, entice him. And 40 million is doable for a club like AC Milan. It's you know it's not uh, as much as we should be getting for Lukaku, but the situation sucks and we need to get some money for it. So I think this could be a good one, but I I think it's unlikely that he accepts AC Milan Lukaku. He goes on and on about his love for Inter Milan, so I just think this one is a little bit unlikely, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe it'll happen. Then we have the news coming out that it looks like Chelsea have officially had their bid accepted to buy a stake in Strasbourg um, as a bit of a feeder club. You know, they say that they want a sort of multi-club model, and it looks like that's what we're going to be doing, buying a 40% stake. Um, I honestly thought we were going to be buying a full, you know, the full 100% stake, but maybe that was naive of me. Um, I assume this gives us a good bit of control over what happens there, or the owners, a good bit of control over what happens there, and will set us up nicely to, you know, be able to not only, like, pick some nice youth prospects from there, but also send people there uh, to develop as players. So, an interesting one, we'll see how it develops, um, but it looks like that has all gone through. Then just a quick update from Fabrizio Romano on the Nicholas Jackson deal. Um, Villarreal have been informed since Monday that Chelsea will match the release clause when negotiating instalments or loan players included. It's just a matter of details. The contract is being prepared and Jackson will fly to London when the deal is done to complete his medical. So there's no need to worry on it. A lot of people sort of worried like, why is it in the dark? Nothing, we haven't had any updates. Um, it's simply a case of, you know, arguing semantics on whether it's installments or whether we include a loan player which sounds weird to me because we're playing a release clause um, but whatever it's um it's gonna happen and Chelsea are gonna have this new striker on the hand which I'm really excited for but that's gonna be the end of the video guys if you did enjoy please be sure to leave a like on it hit subscribe and the notification bell and you'll never miss out on a future video thank you for watching the video I'll see you again soon goodbye